Hello, in this video tutorial, I'll explain the project hospital management. So it's a project demo. First, let's understand what is hospital management and why you need to select this project. So hospital management is a quite old project, but the scope is very big. When you talk about the scope, so it's useful a wide scale so okay so you can find like a very small village um, small city a district so everywhere the hospitals are there or doctor clinics are there they want a software to manage the clinic hospital so the domain is very big so hospital management or hospital or health health domain so generally what you call the health domain so it's quite big domain so once you do the project here, so therefore you can choose to get into a wealth domain. There are the many types of projects are available. So therefore you can do that kind of projects. In order to start with that, so in order to start with the basic project, so for here you can select the hospital management. So here uh, we we'll let us understand what we can do. We all know like this hospital where doctors will see the patient. So therefore we need a doctor details. Doctor. Doctor belongs to department, so therefore there is a department details. Then doctor will see the patient, so here is a patient. Patient will come to the hospital. Right, so here is the hospital will come and the corresponding doctor will be informed. Then the patient will take the consultation. This is the outpatient, so therefore they take the consultation. If necessary, the patient will become an inpatient, so therefore you to join the hospital it becomes an inpatient. So here is outpatient and here is inpatient, patient who joined the hospital. So when you have inpatient, generally we need to make the billing, so therefore bill is required. So we need to generate the bill for the inpatient. So these are the main things we cover in this particular project. There are a lot of things we can do, but at this moment as a mini project or a DBMS project, so these are the things we are covering in this project. So we'll understand the whole concept, then you can able to write this project in uh, VB, R in C Shop, R in Java, so R you can write in Python, R you can write in a, uh, you can make it as an Android app. So therefore, you should know like what should be there in the project. So once you understand that, you can use any language, any of these languages what we discussed now, and you can write the program in that particular language. So project preparations, so how do we do that complete project? So in order to complete the project, first you need to select the title. So first you need to select the project, what project you plan to do. So in this case is hospital management. So based on that you need to create the synopsis. So in our website we have a synopsis you can download from our website. We have uh, different uh, web synopsis in that in that our website. Next one, uh, you have to design the project. So what are things should be there in the project? We already discussed about it. So here we have a department, doctor, outpatient, outpatient consultation, inpatient, inpatient, billing. So all you need to design properly, all the, what are the fields should be required. Then you need to make the programming and see to it like the project works perfectly fine. 
then you have to make the project document. Even some documents available in our website, uh, sample documents you have to download. You can download from our website. So in case you wish to buy this project, please contact us. Aspect management, this project can be implemented using any of these languages. We already discussed about it. And here, uh, once you complete this project, you will get a language skills. That is uh, which language you are using. You know like how can you use the particular language to write the complete project. Domain skills. So we talk about the hospital management. So we should know like how the things works in the hospital. What is patient? What is doctor? How they communicate? What is the bill? How to raise the bill? All you will understand. Therefore, it, it, it develops the domain skills. Work experience. If you complete the project your own, you definitely gain the experience. That definitely count uh, to get the job. Therefore, after watching this video, maybe you can try to complete the project by your own. Here is the forms. So what are the forms you are using in this project? The list is here. The list is in alphabetical order. So basically this is for outpatient, these things, these for inpatient and there is a doctor. So it is a doctor and there is a department. Uh, this is the billing list. So this is admission. So this is the forms. I will run the project and then I will show you the, all the forms. And the tables. So here are the tables. So we have around uh, 10 tables here. What are the data you enter that will come to corresponding table. So once you run the project, uh, here is the MDA parent, this is the main form and here are the tables and here are the forms. When you click the department details, when you click here, you will open the department details, this form. So when you enter the data, this will come to department table. So therefore this data will come to the department table. Same so way when you enter the doctor details, when you click the doctor here, so there is a doctor sorry this is a department form and here is a doctor okay so for this one this is the department and this is the doctor right so what are the data you enter in the form that will, will transfer to the corresponding table fine now i'll show the demo for you so before getting to demo if you're not yet subscribed to the channel please click the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. Fine. I open the project in uh, Visual Basic. It is a Visual Studio. The language is Visual Basic. This is a Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019. So if you don't have this software, you can download from the Microsoft website. And you can see this is the solution explorer. Here all the forms are already created. So you have to create each form. Like now to create the form, you have to go to project menu, add form. So what you want to put in that particular form, so you can give the corresponding name. Right. So here is outpatient consultation. Uh, let's say out outpatient prescription. So you want to print the prescription. So then you can say outpatient prescription form. So there uh, you need to design the page. This is an empty page now. If you go to consultation form, here is the registration number, here is outpatient number. So again here also you need to take outpatient number and what is the prescription that you need to write down. So for the corresponding fields you need to plan and then again provide the button cards a new save and then the print option. So like that okay. So this is the example like how you can create the form. So here the form is already there. So first we will run with the flash screen. So this is the flash screen. So it will have a background picture. So there is a background image property. You need to add the picture. So you have to show the picture in the welcome screen. So after the welcome screen we have a login form. So there is a login form. You have username and password. When you click the button, you should check the user ID and the password. If both are present in the table. So for example if you go to the table here. Login table. So you can say show table data. So it is admin admin. It will cross verify this. Okay. So then if matches then it will show it will take to the MDA form. Otherwise it will give the message box user ID or password not correct. Right. So then we will go to the MDA parent. Here is MDA parent. Here is the department details. When I click department details uh, here is the code to show the department form. So department form will be shown. So this is the department form. Here is the department name. What is the department name and the details of the, that particular department. So in real time we have to take many fields but 
it's a entry level project therefore you are only considering the for department two fields one is what is the department name and that will be used in the doctor so doctor belongs to which department and the details about that particular department so if it's a gynecology so what exactly gynecology that you can write out write in the detail sections and here is a new button when you click the new button you will clear the text controls so this is what the one function to clear all the controls in the form so instead of clearing 111 like no text box 1 dot text is equal to empty text box 2 is equal to empty so what we written is here is a function will take all the controls if the control is text box then what we do is the corresponding text box will be cleared if the text box is comma box then the corresponding comma box will be cleared so like that we clear all the text boxes right then save button so here is a save when i click the save save record we want to save the record so if you don't enter anything in the text box one it will give the message please enter the necessary details and if you already enter the data so it will check the table and if the data is present then we'll give the message this record is already present if not then we'll going to insert the data here you can see this is the insert statement so now go to the next one doctor so here is uh, we have many fields or doctor code doctor name address phone number email id and here is the department name right so what we do is so uh, whenever you load the form so here is employee detail form load we select the department name from the department table and we'll transfer all the data to the comma box 1 so the for what are the department already entered it will come automatically over here and then when i are entering the data we can choose one from the list okay so let me run the project right so there is a welcome screen it will be there for 5 minutes sorry 5 seconds not minutes then here is a login form so here is admin then admin and if you give wrong password So we'll say that uh, username or password not correct. So you need to enter the correct one. Now you can see department. So click new, enter the details. As I told already, uh, if you already enter the data, you can see the data here in the data grid view, and you can able to modify or you can able to delete. You can always change the background color or you can uh, redesign the form. So you can change the color, the uh, background color of the buttons. So all possible. doctor details so we have one doctor here now so likewise same way you need to click the new button and you have to enter all the details of the doctor who are the doctors working in the hospital next you come to the outpatient outpatient details so when the new patient comes you can see that the id is generated and you have to write the patient name and you need to enter all the details and uh, what is the patient profession so that you can choose and you have to save the record so presently already enter one record so you can keep on entering the multiple records now this outpatient want to meet the doctor so here is a consultation form so this outpatient number and name will come automatically so department um, is a surgery so here you want to meet the doctor dmr okay so now what is the consultation fees 500 rupees that we can save that means this particular customer the patient want to meet the this doctor now we have a reports here so the top patient consultation details when i click the button so it shows the date and whom we supposed to meet what is the total price everything will be there here that print out we can take and we can give to the corresponding doctors so next comes to inpatient inpatient details so if you already have outpatient details so that you can enter here outpatient code the details come automatically therefore we are fetching the data from the outpatient table and you are filling the data therefore you don't need to enter it again but you can give a different id uh, for the inpatient so this is the inpatient then inpatient admission so the for the patient want to join the hospital now so this is a 101 so ravi kumar so you want to go to surgery so then which room number you will go so there is 1001 so what is the problem so there is a kidney stones so it may be surgery so surgery has to taken place and then it has to be removed the consulting doctor we have only one but you enter more doctors then you can fix the doctor who is the consulting doctor for this particular purpose save then this is saved and uh, now we join the hospital next is the billing so when you go to billing so you can check the inpatient number so name will come so what is the total amount okay so this is surgery So on twenty five thousand rupees, room charges. So 
so on 10,000 rupees. Uh, medicine and all. So here we have only five fields, but you can always increase the number of fields here. Then save. So therefore, the bill will be done for this particular customer. Based on that, we have a reports here. Outpatient details. Here will show the list of all the outpatients. Then inpatient details. He will show that overall inpatients. Then we have a uh, that I already shown, right? So inpatient billing report. So what are billings we done? That we can able to see it here. So this is the recent bill what we generated. Like that, um, you can complete the project and you need to plan. So this is the one we already created. So you can wish you can buy this. Otherwise you can always try by your own and then you need to write the project. Hope this uh, video help you to do the project. If you have any doubts or anything to share with us, please write it in the comment box and then pass to us. Thank you for watching this video.